It's my great honor and pleasure to introduce Bay Williams. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, the mayor, the president, and the members of the city council really wanted to be with you today. But you know, they're like Hallmark. They wanted you to have the very best, so they sent me. I, I want to welcome those of you who've come from all across this land, all across this world to be here today. We're accustomed to having visitors and we want you to know that unlike some people down on 7th Street who seem to be the warmongers, we who stand here today and those of us who welcome you with open arms, we stand for peace, love and happiness and we know that war is not the way. I had the opportunity to go around the world with 200 women who were peace advocates on a ship called the Ship of Peace. Well, wouldn't you know we were held up in the Arabian Sea by the army that was so-called coming to bring people the peace. We traveled along the Arabian Sea all the way from Algeria down to Iraq. But as we were on our way there, we had these brave American soldiers who had gone out there at their then commander-in-chief's orders. Those young men didn't want to be there. When they held the guns on these women on this peace ship, one young man with tears in his eyes when we asked, why are you here? Why are you doing this? We are women of peace. The young man with tears falling down, but still with his gun drawn as he was ordered to do, said they told us we had to do it this way. Well, you see, they had kidnapped us. They held us on the water for more than 20 days. Women, children, peace activists, that's all we were there looking for peace because we knew then, as we know now, war is not the answer. Problems, problems are never resolved. We have hundreds of thousands of Iraqi women and children, old people, who were killed in that first Gulf War. And now, as if that were not enough, we have hundreds of thousands more who've been murdered and maimed in a similar war. Well, George, we're welcoming all of our friends from across the world here today to talk to you for a while. We know that it's working. And I'll tell you how I know that it's working. I've lived where I live since the first Gulf War. Never did one of my neighbors come to me and say, thank you for what you're doing. But as I walked out of the house this morning, my neighbor said, you're on your way to the peace march, aren't you? And I said, yes, I am. And then I'm going on to another kind of peace rally from here. But she said to me, I won't be there in person but I'll be with you in spirit. I know we're winning. I know what you're doing is making a difference. So I say to all of you, and especially to the members of Code Pink who are my friends, so many people wanted to be where you've been all year on this issue, but they didn't have the courage to do it. But because of my neighbor's words this morning and similar words like that, I know what you're doing is making a difference. When all of you leave Washington, D.C. and you go back home and you tell your friends and neighbors about the love that you received here, all the hundreds of people, the thousands of people you saw here who are peace-loving people just like you, tell them to begin talking to George and tell him his ratings aren't down for nothing. His ratings are down because people like you all across the country, all across the world are saying, in this war now. Bring our troops home. Peace, I love you. Thank you. God bless you. Love you.